Well, friends, so this is going to be a rainy day empties video. I have already separated everything into categories to make things a little more organized. So you're not going to see the classic overflowing, you know, bin picture. Um, but let's get started. This I hold from Dollar Tree. It's their new soy blend scented line. It's the avocado and mint. I'm cold sniff. It smells amazing. But... Now that it burned, it does not smell like that. And also there was really no throw to it. I did stock up on this because I love the scent so much. But when it was burning, it just didn't smell like that, which really stinks. Um, I'm curious if I were to maybe try to take some of this wax and put it in my wax burner, if it would work differently. I have so many of them that I probably could mess with it. Um, this is a really beautiful jar though, so I'm going to try to get the wax out of that. I did finish another one of the Dollar Tree ones. This one says Free Spirit. This one actually had some sort of scent and throw, um, but I did notice after the fact, this just peels off this sticker, Free Spirit. Um, I still, this is a really thick glass. This would be really nice for makeup brushes, a bunch of stuff. So once again, I'm going to... Um, try to get the wax out of this and next I finished Better Homes and Gardens Spiced Pumpkin Pie. I am actually have the last cube in there right now. It smells great and it's not so overwhelming that you have to shut it off. It's a it's fragrant but not like headache inducing. Um, and then before I continue I wanted to share a snack that I found at Marshall's. I found them once before and I found them again. And I am from Detroit, which is where the Saunders chocolate shop comes from. But I did find these in New Jersey. But they are called the Mini Bites. And they are milk chocolate peanut butter caramel. This is $2.99 for this bag. Um, eight pieces is 170 calories. A lot of times, I just have four pieces. It's a 100-calorie chocolate snack. And um, I only had four pieces last night. And it's just perfect. And where they manufacture this is next to the town I grew up in. I just think that's really cool that they showed up at Marshall's. So skincare is actually the least amount of stuff this time. Well, maybe not because I have quite a few masks that I'm going to talk to you about at the end. But I'm going to tell you uh, the other stuff that I finished. Hair care and body care took over this empties. Um, I wanted to finish some full size and stuff, and I did, so you will see. This is the Dollar Tree Bolero Lemon Verbena and Mint. I have talked about uh, two other packs of these uh, wipes, which I liked. These I didn't. They weren't as saturated as the other ones, so I recommend the purple and the teal colored ones, not the green. Um, I finished the Cetaphil Skin Cleanser. I just use this all over my body. It's actually really nice after I've been in the sun because it's very gentle on my skin. This came in my Target box, I believe. It's the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Argan Nut Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. I did like this. Do I think I'll purchase it? No. This is a new product by Garnier, and it was nice. I used a part of the set that I bought from Good will which is rodile and i use the uh, night one it's that yellowish color um tinge item and i didn't like this one i am almost done with the day and you will see that in the next empties but um i like the day a lot better but it is very moisturizing it just felt slimy to me um i did finish the cbs oil free moisturizer i was working on this Put it away because I got sick of it and then brought it back out and started using it with my essential oils that I got from the Dollar Tree, those Bolero ones. I mixed it into this and used it all over my body. Great way to use up moisturizer instead of making your own lotion. And then this was from ProTap or Influencer, the L'Oreal Revitalift Moisturizer I had to review. And um, I do have a little bit left in here, so I am going to continue to finish this. Um, but I actually didn't realize how much was left because this was stored upside down. Um, I wanted to show you the texture of it. It isn't so thick that it's going to make you feel almost like it's clogging your pores, but it is thick enough to moisturize your skin and give it a nice glow and it just feels hydrated. I love 
this stuff. And um, I've seen people that I know that I've never even talked about this product with of different ages using it. So, and different types of skin. So, I am going to put this back in the bathroom and finish this. Um, but I really thought there was only a little bit left. That's what happens when you store your products. A lot of times I do that with my lotions and other stuff. Guys, you store them upside down. You'll get more of your product. Um, makeup really quick. I just used up two of the Q-Tex um, nail polish remover pads. Came in a set of 10 from Dollar Tree. Um, and these are awesome. Just awesome. And then I finished the Cargo One Base Concealer and Foundation. I just... Um, honestly did not use this as a concealer. I use this as an eye primer and it actually worked really well, but it's very liquidy. And then this, I think I got for my birthday from Ulta. It's the Monsieur Big Lancome, the new mascara. And I really, really like this. Um, but it was a very wet formula that I didn't like. Um, but I used this up and just a few months so this goes with my makeup stuff of the year okay um hair care another thing so a bunch of i was i've been trying to use up a bunch of deluxe samples because i had so many deluxe sample hair care stuff and i still do so i'm really working hard on that so i finished the dove refreshed in care um this isn't a deluxe sample Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. This was probably my favorite shampoo, dry shampoo I've ever used. It did really give you some volume. Um, and it didn't make my hair look like if I sprayed it in too much in one spot, it would get gray. But it was very easily just to, to tassel it in. Um, it didn't leave any sort of residue. Like if maybe I wanted to wait to the third day to wash my hair and I used this twice in a row, I didn't feel dirty in any way. This was awesome and this is very cost effective and also this lasts a really long time even with all this hair okay I did it all underneath and all around here um every other day for months and months and months and this lasted and these are like four dollars I think so I really recommend that guys I've used so many different um dry shampoos I finished the Remkin uh diamond oil I didn't like this. I really didn't. I've used so many different hair oils. For example, the Madam CJ Walker coconut oil that came in a Sephora play box. This is a really pretty glass bottle. Um, and I use this and it does a really nice job at smoothing and just taming. And um, I'm thinking if I could use this for something else because it has this really cool dropper in it. Mm, just get rid of it, Jessica. Just get rid of it. <laughs> some um, hair care from the Borgata uh, and they use the lather brand, the Yuzu Bergamot Cream Rinse and the Mint Time Hair Wash. I love these products. Um, I love this too, the BB All Style Blow Dry by Bumble and Bumble. Um, this was pretty much a fail for me. It's the John Frieda Sea Wave Sea Salt Sprays. The Sea Salt Sprays for some reason don't work on my hair and I think it's because my hair is so thick. Um, but um, they're still in, in here. See, this is what happens when things set strange. So I am going to put this back in the bathroom as well and use it till it's gone. But this is the Purology um, Multitasking Hair Beautifier. It's kind of like a, it's a 10 product. Um, and I love it. I've used multiples of it. Uh, the er Herbal Essence Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo. I really like this as well. A little bit went a long way with my hair, which is really good and cost effective. Um, the Daily Defense Argan Oil from Morocco Shampoo. You get this for 93 cents at Walmart or a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And this I like. Um, the coconut oil one that I've been using and I just switched out. Um, I don't like as much, but I like the argan oil. And then this is the mask that goes with it. Once again, I found this out at Walmart as well. It has um, Dollar Tree. Um, I finished Aqua de Goya. Um, I love the scent, but I don't like the scent on me. So I'm glad that I get these samples from Sephora um, because that it helps me determine that. Um, I finished some bath products, the Peter Thomas Roth Massaging Bar. Um, it was okay. I, I just used my own um, shower gel. This was a Christmas gift from my brother, the San Francisco Salt Company Sleep Lavender Bath Salts. These were really nice and pretty nice quality 
um, bath salts um, was really nice. So I did finish those. It took me all those months. And the Tuscan Hills Vanilla Almond Bath Salts. I really wasn't impressed by these bath salts. Um, a couple mini uh, Hello Beautiful and A Thousand Wishes Bath and Body Works um, things. I was trying to go through the shower gels and body washes that I had. Um, and what I was left with besides a little bit of my stress relief from Bath and Body Works was fall scents. So I recently just purchased the Olay. It's a new one. It's a moisturizing. It's like a light blue bottle and it has sea salt in it and little tiny daily exfoliants in it. And I absolutely love it. I love Olay stuff, guys. Um, I finished the Jolas Venus Olay velvet swirl one was almost done like literally one use before my last empties and then in between I did finish another one <gasps> water just flew everywhere on me okay it is done <laughs> I had to make sure because sometimes it feels like there's more in it and I don't want to waste even though I did get these at the Dollar Tree um, and I have about four back backups, but I um, also have a body shop shave cream I've been using. This I used for a long time. I got this for free. Got a coupon from ProTap, and they gave me a mini like to use up like this size. And um, then they ended up sending those of us that reviewed it a coupon for a free full size. This lasted a really long time. Um, honestly, did it do the job? Yes, but it's an extra step for me. Um, while I'm still like wet from the shower, that's the thing that I don't like. I know a lot of people just stay in the shower and apply it, but then you got to grab your towel and then like you're trying to dry yourself in a wet shower and your towel is getting even more wet and you're standing in wetness and I don't, I don't know, but I did finish the Jergens Natural Go Wet Skin and I like this a little bit more because it wasn't, um, as watery. Um, I was trying to think of what it, what I was trying to say here. Um, and I don't know if it's giving me subtle color because I already have a tan. Um, but I have one more of these that I am going to use up. Um, and I just don't think I need the wet skin moisturizer in my life. I use moisturizing body washes and I exfoliate and I lotion a couple times a week. I don't do it every day. Um, I don't think I need it. So I just realized it's one thing that I just don't need to add to my daily routine. Okay. Some masks. So I've been showing these for so long. I'm still trying to finish up this set that I got for Christmas of the cat masks, um, sheet masks. They're really saturated and nice. This one came in my target box. I was not a fan and it kind of burned my skin. It was the spa life. Um, nourishing orange. They have these out in Target. Um, I really don't recommend them, especially for the price. They look like $3 and they did not do anything. Um, the Key Bella Revitalizing Overnight Face Mask. This was nice. Um, I noticed, and those are still at Target too. Um, I noticed that those are hit and miss too. So, wow, this is a long video. And then I bought from TJ Maxx or Marshalls uh, first the Strawberry Pucker Up Lip Mask. This is awesome and life changing. I mean, if you, I could, I'm gonna use one probably today. My lips are a little bit dry, and you know, they don't feel, they feel a little imperfect. This just makes your whole lips just perfect and moisturized, and just, it's the weirdest feeling, but it's so satisfying. Um, and then I got the Absolute Hand Masks, which have green tea in it. This was really nice. And then I got these Body Scription Exfoliating Foot Masks. The, the foot mask wasn't as good as the hand and the lip mask. And I still have a couple of each. I have like four more. I think this came in a set of five for $3. The hand mask was three for $3. And I think the foot mask was three for $3. So I still have a few sets. Um, but the foot mask to me really was not that good. Um, so it's hit and miss when you try products like that from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but you're not paying that much. So if I don't really like it, I use it one more time. I'll just give the last one to my mom or something, you know? So that is my empties. Now you can see all the stuff I use. I'm just really trying to be efficient here, guys. And, um, I know fall's coming up. So 
I wanted to use up a bunch of body care and like the wet skin moisturizers because honestly, those are products that I know for a fact I will not use them in fall and winter. Um, I like to use my body creams and stuff that I have that I need to use up from Bath and Body Works um, that are fall and wintery scents to me. So I'm kind of strategizing in how I'm approaching using my products up and using them up before they go bad, um, which I've noticed it's happened to me um, in this journey of several years of using things up. So just some tips for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I know it was a really dark, it's a stormy day here, um, but I hope that you were able to make it this far and see my empties. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.